Hello guys, this is Zach, Zach Animate Studios. In front of you today, we are going to be doing, uh, we are going to, to explore uh, the Visual Studio. Uh, we can create uh, applications using Visual Studio. Uh, basically, you can create um, mostly des desktop applications and then web applications. It is also good for creating uh, um, web apis and any other application that you want but today basically we are just going to, to take a look at microsoft visual studio and um, how to set up a simple application and also if you want to create complex application uh, that requires like uh, automation and all that you can always use uh, visual studio and it is also compatible with other applications you can create node applications uh, react applications okay these are other platform web platform applications that you can also create and they can work well with uh, visual visual studio so uh, right now i'm updating i i am updating my visual studio no, I'm hoping to just take a few seconds and then it upload. And also, we also have now we also have uh, where database is being stored. Uh, basically, you can create an application, and most importantly, where are you sto storing your data? Uh, data is only stored on uh, SQL management studio so microsoft sql server so i've already installed it uh this is just how it looks like uh you see you have the it has that structure uh you it has those structure and then all the tables that you have inside the the, the database so basically this is how it looks like let's look at the td DBO employees so you can view data that are inside the database and edit the top 200 so basically that's how you get uh, data inside you, you store you store data inside the database uh, also now there's this something called uh, we we used when the server now hosting applications Mostly uh, Microsoft uh, applications normally use IIS. IIS. To get IIS, you have to go to, you, you are going to search, uh, turn on Windows features, this, this bit, and then what you are going to do, you are going to enable IIS services. IIS services. This is the IIS services. So you enable the IIS services. This is, this is going to give you the features to, uh, to manage your, I, I, your, 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 your website. So you enable the IIS, IIS services. So just click OK and then it will get the packages and then, you can, uh, it, then your IIS will be ready to, to, to run in your application. So basically, Let's give it a few minutes so that we install we, we, we install our Visual Studio because it is a little bit older. I'm just updating it and then we're going to look at we can dive we can dive inside the I the 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 Visual Studio. So we're going to create we're going to, we're going to see how we're going to create a simple application.